Well, we, we've had Vince Gilligan. Vince Gilligan was the first ever in-studio guest in the history of this show seven years ago. Wow. Because I met Vince in, in, in an airport and fanboyed him longer than that ago. And, you know, I'm the host of NFL Network outside of this, Dean. And, you know, I talked a little sports with him. And he, he basically said, and I invited him on my podcast. And he's like, I don't know anything about sports at all. I said, I don't care. I know everything <laughs> about Breaking Bad. And I've gotten to know him and, and his brilliance. And, you know, we've had Giancarlo Esposito, um, also, um, you know, uh, the great Brian Cranston as well. And Brian told a story about the scene where, you know, Kristen Ritter, uh, who, oh. the the actress who played, yeah. you know, Jesse Pinkman's um, uh, yeah. girlfriend, and he let her die. Oh. And how he saw his own daughter in her face and how it created oh. such a moment for him as an actor. Did you have a moment where you needed to pause a second after acting in a scene in Breaking Bad? I'll be all? honest with you. Dean? Pretty much the entire last season, starting with the uh, the, the garage scene where uh, where I, I I confront Brian, which he directed, and which was uh, I mean an amazing day in in my career and life, filming that scene where I shut the garage door and uh, confront Brian. Um, so uh, that, after that, sure, after that day, uh, pretty much the end, the whole, I was depressed pretty much the whole, uh, okay. final, final season of, uh, of Breaking Bad because it was just such a heavy thing, but, uh, um, glad to have done it, obviously. I, I got to tell you, I, I remember after he told you to tread lightly, Yeah. um, I, I needed a minute actually yeah. in my, in my living room. Yeah. I needed a minute in my living room after that scene. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm serious. I know. Yeah. You know? I get you. I uh, and there, I think there were many moments in that last season where people literally would just pause the TV and go, "What?" <laughs> 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 and then continue on with it, you know. Right, and and you know, before again, we'll, we'll, the uh, the uh, the actor Dean Norris from the United States of Al, which again airs tonight at, on CBS at eight thirty p.m. Eastern Time. Vince Gilligan told us that Brian Cranston would grab a script and he would look at Aaron Paul, who was afraid of getting killed off. Uh, because his character essentially wasn't supposed to make it out of season one, um, that he would mess with his head all the time, saying, so, you know, <laughs> go through a script, uh, I don't know. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, he did, did. Did you ever grab a script and, and see if that was the end of, of Hank Schrader at any I, point in time? I, I, never, I never was concerned, and I knew two years prior that he, Vince told me two years ahead of time what his demise would be. And no interestingly enough, uh, he almost said the, the words that my final words were uh, uh, to me two years. <laughs> like, no kidding. He said, uh, he said, he said, I'm going to tell you what, Dean, you're going to die. It's either going to be the second and last or the, or, the, or the last episode, but you're going to die with your dignity. And he said, you're going to say something like, you know, yourself and blah, blah, blah. And um, I was like, all right, man. And that was two years prior. Wow. What yeah. does that mean for an actor, Dean Norris, to, to know that there's a plan and that there's somebody who's such a genius to have that plan and to know how to play your character from there on out? What does that mean? Yeah, it was you? fantastic. I mean, I was one of the few people who never visited the writer's room because I would think of something and I'd go, you know what? These guys, there's like 10 geniuses in there. They've already been through that option, <laughs> you, know, 10, you know, 10 days ago. So... Um, it was great to allow that to to, to um, unfold with these guys, and uh, but yeah, I, it was you know it was cool. Uh, it was it was good to know that he was going out on his not on his terms necessarily, but uh, like like Vince said, with his dignity, you know. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.